Prince Harry quitting royal duties shows he may take after his rebel great-aunt Princess Margaret, a royal expert has said. Royal expert Ingrid Seward compared the Duke of Sussex to the Queen's sister. Ms Seward highlighted how Harry quit royal duties for a new life of personal and financial freedom in the US with Meghan Markle. Meanwhile, Margaret came very close to giving up her rights of succession to marry group captain Peter Townsend. The royal expert told that, perhaps Harry has something of his rebel great-aunt about him, because he walked away. The princess was so gregarious and willful and nearly gave up her rights of succession to be with Peter Townsend. In the end she decided she preferred royal life. But I wonder if she regretted walking away from the love of her life. Ms. Seward added that Margaret would have understood Harry's royal struggles as they were both spare to the heir. She said, being a spare is the most difficult position. Margaret would have supported Harry because royal life is relentless, even in their roles. The royal expert added that the Queen's sister would have had some wise counsel for Harry. But Miss Seward said Margaret would have been unlikely to have spoken out like the Duke did in his and Meghan's Oprah Winfrey interview. The royal expert said, when she decided to follow her royal destiny she accepted it with discretion, but not necessarily respectable behavior. She went on to be even more rebellious in so many ways. But I can't see her going on chat shows. She didn't have an axe to grind. However, Princess Margaret eventually decided she preferred royal life. Bond said, I wonder if she regretted walking away from the love of her life. The royal commentator also sympathized with Prince Harry's struggle living in the shadow of his brother, Prince William. She said being a spare is the most difficult position. Margaret would have supported Harry because royal life is relentless, even in their roles. She added, if you sacrifice domestic bliss for that it probably seems pointless. She would have had some wise counsel for him. Bond also talked about how Princess Margaret would have viewed Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle. She drew comparisons between the two women and said the late royal was the Diana of her day because she was extraordinarily beautiful. The princess, also known as Countess of Townsend, was also viewed by the paparazzi just the way that Diana was, and to an extent Meghan was. But she would not have nice things to say about the former Suits star. What would she have thought of Meghan? I'm not sure she would have approved, actually, Bond claimed and added, Margaret was more royal than anyone. She was great fun but quite hard to handle. Bond claimed that Princess Margaret was very snobbish and might have thought of the Duchess of Sussex as not good enough. But she would not have gone on TV to bash the royal family, just like what Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did in their interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. The Sussexes quit as working royals in March 2020 and are now living in California. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, stunned royal fans when they announced that they were stepping down as senior royals. The couple then decided to move to America for a more private life. However, since arriving in the US they have remained in the spotlight. Now, an expert is weighing in on the subject and claiming that Harry's life is a million miles from what he wanted and why he feels sorry for the Duke of Sussex.